Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I was gonna film another video after this, but I just realized that I set the wrong background in the back. So I guess this is gonna be the last video of this year for a five days holiday, as well as the last video of this year, you guys. I'm gonna be doing this makeup right here for um, New Year's Eve. Uh, but before that, I just wanted to thank all of you for following 5 Days Holiday until the end. Thank you for watching every single video and commenting every single video. I know it's a bit much for some because 5 videos a week is like, you know, it's kind of hard to keep up. But I know a lot of you like it as well. That's why I continue to doing it this year since I started it last year. Uh, the reason why I start, I did this 5 days holiday video is because of my love for Christmas. I love Christmas, you guys, and uh, I want to share that love with you guys. I want to celebrate that um, love for Christmas and also want to, you know, teach my children or my child, you know, the greatness of Christmas. So that's why I wanted to keep this tradition going. But anyways, guys, uh, yeah, I did this look today. This is for New Year's Eve or... You know, if you want to rock it every day, that's fine also. <laughs> or you just, you know, girls night out or anything like that. This will be great. Um, yeah, so anyways, if you uh, want to know how I did this look, then please keep on watching. Alright, you guys, so I'm going to be testing out a few products today. Um, I mean, I'm going to try them for the first time. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be trying this uh, Photo Finish Primer Water. This is uh, by Smashbox. So I'm just going to spray it all over my face. Okay. <laughs> hmm. The spray is not consistent. I don't know if it's because it's new. So I have... Uh, it's, I don't know. Maybe I should have shaked it first. I don't know. But we're just going to wait for it to dry. I'm going to try and use it as a setting spray also. Since it says it can be before makeup, after makeup to lock it. Or... Um, as a refresher I'm actually I'm gonna use another Smashbox primer this is my whole time favorite primer of all time <laughs> uh, this is the uh, Smashbox photo finish pore minimizing oil free I really love this primer so I really have to use it I think this is the deluxe size so I'll probably uh, buy like a regular size when it's done because girl you need to get on this this is good. This is a good primer. Okay, I'm just gonna give it a few um, times to set first. A few times to set. The foundation that I'm gonna be using today is the Born This Way by Too Faced. I mean, shade warm beige. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the foundation. I'm just using this uh, powder brush by e.l.f. You know what's funny everything about this foundation reminds me of the CoverGirl Luxor uh, foundation that I just recently tried. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to primer. As you all know, I don't really put that much foundation under my eyes because of primer. The primer I'm gonna be using today is the Fit Me by Maybelline. Oh, I've missed this so much. I've been using other primers li uh, lately, but uh, this is just in shade light. Alrighty then. Okay, so I'm gonna be using a brush to mix this all up. Okay, so I'm gonna use this um, small cheek contour brush by Crown. I was supposed to use a different product by Smashbox also under my eyes, but whatever. We'll use it next time. <laughs> Okay, I have to set this right away before it starts creasing. So, I'm actually going to use this Morphe palette right here. This is the Nancy palette and I'm just going to use the yellow powder. This brush I'm using is actually by Morphe. It's just a really nice tapered brush and I'm sorry guys it doesn't have a number. That's why I don't give it to you. I'm just gonna use this color right here for the T-zone using the same brush. As you can see, I'm not baking today. 
Um, I haven't been baking for a while because uh, I feel like baking kind of is not really a good thing for my other eyes. <laughs> I tend to always look so cakey after, so so I just gotta figure that out next year, I guess. I'm just softening the rest with like a clean brush. Mm -hmm. I'm literally just tapping on above everything. Okay, we're gonna use, uh, we're gonna move on to bronzer. I'm actually gonna use this um, concealer by, by Ellie Girl. This is in shade Almond. It's not really that dark for me, but uh, we're gonna make it work. So I'm gonna use it as a bronzer, like I said. This is the time where I really wish to have a sponge because it would be easier to uh, to do, with, do this with a sponge, but that's okay. I'm just gonna use this um, Elf Flawless Concealer Brush. Oh my god. Do you see that? Put too much product. So I'm gonna use the same palette, the Morphe 9C palette. Okay. I'm gonna try to use this color right here and we'll see how that goes. And as always, I'm gonna be um, applying my bronzer with the uh, small tapered brush by e.l.f. I don't know if you guys noticed, but every time I put bronzer now, I, I pull my face the other direction, like this or like this. It actually helps a lot with the, uh, um, the uh, product application. Okay guys, I'm gonna be applying this uh, primer water again, just so that it doesn't look too cakey on my face. Okay, um, it's weird. Like I feel like every after four or five sprints, it has a blockage and then it goes again. It's, it's weird. <laughs> Alright you guys, we're going all out because it's New Year's Eve, okay? Um, <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and um, move on to um, eyes first because my face is not fully dry yet. So I'm gonna be actually using this new um, eyeshadow primer. This is by Smashbox. This is the 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. And just to let you guys know, most of this uh, Smashbox item came in a set. That's why I have a lot of Smashbox stuff. Well, um, okay, that's a lot. That's a lot of primer. I don't know why a lot came out of it. That's such a waste, guys. Okay, I'm just gonna give it some time to set because that was a lot of product still. I'm actually gonna use this powder to set it. Um, I'm just gonna use the same white powder for the T-zone to set that because it's gonna take a while. I'm gonna just use a big enough brush to cover my entire lid faster. And this one is from Wish, so. Just grab whatever you have. This is just so that I can cover like a larger surface faster. <laughs> First I'm going to use this color right here from the palette under my brows. Yes guys, you can do that. Uh, we're going to work on the transition color. I'm going to use this uh, Morphe palette. I'm going to use this brown right here as my transition color. I'm using it almost like as a crease color as well you guys. So I'm using a huge fluffy brush to apply it. Um, this is from Wish. Okay, so now we're gonna enter the dr dramatic part. Let me just make sure I have a clean brush. All my brushes are all colorful because I've been doing a lot of makeup looks. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna be using this um, this um, ColourPop and Hello Kitty collab. This is the Shuba Shook shadow um, called School Bass. I'm actually gonna apply this all over my lid and uh, I'm just gonna build up the, the color slowly. Okay. 
Okay, this is, might not be the best brush for this. I'm just gonna try and grab a flat brush. I'm just gonna perfect the edges. I'm gonna use the same uh, brush that I applied the crease color and the transition color and then just blend that area. Okay. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and grab more products with this uh, flat brush. And then just um, go over the edge. This is why you need a flatter, a flatter brush for this, um, this eye, especially the edges, because you need more precision. Of course, we're not doing a cut crease, so it doesn't have to be really precise, but you know, a clean cut like this is great. Just gonna bring this same brush on my lashes, my lower lashes. It's like I'm I'm um, I'm meeting up with this edge right here, just halfway. I'm still using the same brush as earlier. This is an Elf C brush, eyeshadow C brush. I'm just using it for the um, the inner lid like this because I need the color to be vibrant there. Okay, you guys, so I want this color to be a little bit more intense, so I'm gonna take the shadow, then I think you see this coming. I'm just gonna wet it with this um, Smashbox primer water. The mist, I don't know, it's a mist, but it's also strong <laughs> like, it's a strong mist. And I'm pressing it on my lid, especially in the middle. You guys just gotta be patient with this color and build it slowly. Okay, so the next shadow that we're gonna use is actually another Hello Kitty Color Pop um, collab. This is the Super Shook shadow called Rainbow. Not too sure why it's called Rainbow, but it's it's white. Oh well. I'm gonna use this as my inner corner color and as well as uh, inner lid color. Okay, so I'm gonna grab another flat brush. The very first brushes I ever bought. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just gonna wet it with the same Smashbox. Hi. I almost sprayed the camera. And then I'm gonna put it in the middle of my lid. Okay, I'm going to try and using my finger instead. I have it on the back of my finger. I'm just going to... So I'm just putting it right in the middle of my lid. As you can see, it's, it doesn't, it's not really that strong, so... Um, Actually, I like it like that. Okay, you guys, so um, I'm gonna use a small brush like this. I believe this is a lip brush. This is from Morphe, and again, it doesn't have any names. But I'm just gonna put it on the inner corner. The inner tear duct, sorry. And then I'm just gonna bring it to a uh, meet up with the blue over here. very important that your um, brush is small enough so that the shadow doesn't go all over the place and we're just gonna um, go on with liner I'm gonna um, tight line and line my waterline I'm just gonna use this Remol liner black liner it's literally beat up already it's been well loved but um, you can just use any black liner you have <laughs> that was painful anyways we're gonna move on to lashes uh, as always I'm gonna um, start with uh, lash I'm gonna use my L'Oreal voluminous um, base primer lash primer Okay, 
Okay, so we're gonna give um, some time for the primer to set first, um, to dry up, and uh, the um, the mascara I'm gonna be using today is the uh, Maybelline the Big Shot Mascara. It's in black. Give the mascara some rest first. So I'm gonna the um, blush I'm gonna be using today is this Elf, this um, Elf blush palette right here. This is the dark color, and I'm just gonna use this one right here. As you all know, this is very pigmented, so you gotta be very careful. I'm just using like a clean brush to go on top of it to lighten it up a little. I'm not pulling, I'm just pushing on it. That way it's not streaky or anything. I don't know why you guys cannot really see it on camera, but this is, that's a lot of blush in real life. It's a lot of blush. Okay, so we're gonna move on to highlighter and the highlight I'm gonna be using today, first of all, is the uh, Liquid Illuminator by uh, NYX. This is the shade Gleam. Gleam. So I'm just gonna apply it on the back of my hand first. Just a tiny bit, just like that. And then I'm gonna apply it with my finger, just mixing it up a little. Bring it on the highest points of my face and bring it a little bit higher. Just like this. I'm doing a little C, I would say. Okay. Okay. The highlight I'm going to be using is my all time favorite. This is the Wet n Wild uh, Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. This is in Precious Petal. This is the kind of highlight that will last you forever because look at that. <laughs> so I'm just going to use the regular highlighting brush that I always use. This is by Crown the Blending Crease. For the mascara, I'm actually just gonna apply it on the top, on the um, edges of my my lashes. So pretty much the top of my lashes. Um, this is just to add a little bit more length and a little bit volume too, but mostly length. Of course, if you guys like falsies, this is the time to apply. It. Alrighty guys, since our eyes is so dramatic, we need the lashes to be a little dramatic. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and finish up with the lips. So, what the lips actually, get, we're gonna be nude because, come on. <laughs> okay, so the lips I'm gonna be using is actually lipstick by H&M. This is in shade, I don't know, Nude Bliss. So I'm just gonna put that over my lips first. I forgot how pink this was. This is. I haven't used it in ages. This has been my favorite lip topper um, recently. This is the um, Adrienne Vitadini Studio. And this is in shade. I'm not sure. Uh, but I'm gonna top it off on my lips to get a little bit more shiny. Alright you guys, this is the finished look. What do you guys think? Do you guys like it? Would you wear it for your New Year's Eve uh, party makeup? 
anyways guys thank you so so much for uh, watching this video until the end and also thank you so much for hanging out with me throughout the whole entire year this is the last video of the year i hope you guys liked it um don't forget to leave a comment below um letting me know how you feel <laughs> anyways um, i just wanted to thank all of you for all the amazing comments that you have been leaving me the messages the likes the the following on facebook everything like that thank you so much you guys uh, this year has pretty much been a lesson learned year <laughs> anyways um, yeah I think that's it you guys thank you so 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 much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next year <laughs> bye guys Thank you so much for watching that video guys. Go ahead and give it a big thumbs up if you guys did like it. Also, don't forget to click on my round face right here to subscribe. That will mean a lot to me. And here's the next video.